So here we have angles of elevation and depression. Uh, many real world problems that involve looking up to an object can be described as an angle of elevation. So here you can see a person, they're looking up at the, at the tree. Right? And here's their line of sight right here. And then when the observer is looking down, it's called an angle of depression. And so you can see down here, the guy is up on top of the cliff, and he's looking down at the ocean down below. So here's this horizontal line of sight, and it creates this uh, angle of depression. And so for these problems, they're basically word problems that are using the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios to solve them. And how does this first one go? It's uh, the angle of elevation, so we're looking up, right? Here's the person. They're looking up to the top of the cliff. And so the angle is 34 degrees. The distance from the observer to the base of the cliff is 1,000. And we're trying to find x, how high the cliff is. So what we have here is a triangle, a right triangle. And we have opposites and adjacent. Right? Opposite and adjacent. So if we look back at our ratios, opposite and adjacent is tangent. So we're going to say tangent of 34 or tangent of angle A is equal to x over 1,000. Then we're going to solve for x by multiplying both sides by 1,000. And then we're dropping this expression into a calculator, which is 1,000 times tangent of 34. And we find that x is 74.5 feet. Problem solved. So that's the first type of problem where they basically give you a right triangle and they give you an angle and you know maybe opposite over adjacent or maybe they give you the hypotenuse and they give you opposite so you got to use um, sine to solve the problems in this manner. The second type of problem is this guy over here and it's a little bit more difficult but it's basic algebra. You just need to learn the methodology. It's um, when you have two points of observation. So here the observer's here at point C. So you form a little triangle. And then the person moves back and now they're at a different point of observation and it forms a second triangle. Right? So Jason is here at point C and he's six feet tall. Right? So he's six feet off the ground and he's looking up at the top of the a garage at point A and he could say that on his first observation uh, the angle of observation was 42 degrees. Uh, we don't know how far away he was from the garage, and we also don't know how tall the, or how tall, much taller the garage is from Jason's head, right? So we don't know X, which is the distance from point B to point A. Uh, and then he steps back, and he now measures a uh, 10 degree angle. Um, and the distance from Jason's previous point of observation and his current point of observation from C to D is 20 feet. So this is the second type of problem. Now, how we how do we solve this one? It goes like this. First, we look at the small ang uh, small triangle, and we have If we're looking at angle C as our point as our uh, angle that we're going to consider, then we have opposite and we have adjacent. So that opposite and adjacent is tangent. So we're going to say tangent of 42 is equal to x over y. Right? Now we're going to solve for x. So we're going to multiply both sides by y. So we'll say x is equal to y times tangent of 42. OK, great. So now we're going to look at the big triangle. And we're going to do the same thing. Right? So we're going to do um, for the big triangle at angle d, we have opposite and we have uh, adjacent. Adjacent would be 20 plus y, right? So we're going to say tangent of 10 degrees is equal to x over uh, 20 plus y. And now we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 20 plus y plus y. Be sure to put parentheses around that expression times tangent 10 is equal to x. And for x, I'm going to go ahead and substitute in um, the expression that we have for x, which is y times tangent of 42. 
So it's going to be y times tangent of 42 on the right side. Substitute it in for x. Right. And now we could distribute out the tangent of 10 to the 20 and the y. So we'll get uh, 20 times tangent of 10 plus y times tangent of 10 is equal to y times tangent of 42. Okay. Buckle your seats because we're not done yet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and subtract this tangent, y tangent of 10. So I could get all the terms that have a y on the same side of the equal sign. So I'm minusing the y times tangent of 10, minusing y times tangent of 10. And what that leaves me with is the 20 times tangent of 10 is equal to the y times tangent 42 minus the y times tangent of 10. All right, we're not done yet. Now we need to factor out the y here on the right side of the equal sign because the first term has a y in it and the second term also has a y in it. So we can factor it out. We could say y, oh, I'm sorry, um, I'm going to also flip these over because I made a mistake. It should have been 20 times tangent of 10 here, but I'm going to do this side first. It's going to be y parentheses tangent of 42 minus tangent of 10 uh, is equal to 20 times tangent of 10. Right. And so now we're going to solve for y. And so we'll get y. We're going to divide both sides by f tangent of 42 minus tangent of 10. Right. So we get y is equal to 20 tangent of 10 over tangent 42 minus tangent 10. And this now is an expression that we could put into a calculator. All right. So I'm going to break open a calculator. Calculator. And let's see. So we're going to do parentheses. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Parentheses. No parentheses. OK, here we go. So parentheses 20 tangent of 10 parentheses divided by uh wait hold on let me do a parentheses divided by parentheses tangent of 42 minus tangent of 10 parentheses uh equals okay so it is y is equal to 23 oh i don't know if that's right 20 times tangent of 10 divided by tangent. Oh, yeah, I did that wrong. Okay, so I did that wrong. And you got to be careful about that. So the numerator is going to be parentheses tangent. No. Parentheses 20 times tangent of 10. Parentheses, parentheses, divided by parentheses. Tangent of 42, parentheses, minus tangent of 10, parentheses, parentheses. Okay, there we go. So that's the answer. All right. So then y is going to equal to 7.989. Uh, so that's 7.89 feet. Right? 7.89 feet. So that means that this y here is 7.89 feet. Right? So how can we find x? Well, do you remember this expression that we got here when we did the tangent of the small triangle? Well, we can go ahead and substitute that y value in right there and get our x. Right? So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say x is equal to 7.89 times tangent 42. And we're going to drop that into a calculator. So we'll say times tangent of 42, 18 feet. So x is equal to 18 feet. But that's not our final answer, right? 18 feet. So x is 18 feet, but the question is, is how tall is the garage? So we need to do x, that height from the line of sight of the human, uh, plus the height of the human. Right. So we're going to say the garage height, I'm going to say g, is equal to 18 plus 6. And that's going to equal to 24 feet. Now we're done. Boom. So anyhow, this is a stereotypical problem. Uh, prototypical problem and you need to know how to solve it this is how you solve it many steps um, and the only way that you'll be comfortable with this if you do a couple of them make sure you um, go through all the steps over and over again and kind of drill it into your mind